Demon Slayer is perhaps the most popular new gen anime out there. It's a show that revolutionized the concept of animation in the anime industry. I mean, you can't name a single show with animation better than or even on par with Demon Slayer. UFO Table has raised the bar so high that every new gen show gets compared with it instantly. But being a shonen, animation is not the only thing fans care about. Epic battles, jaw-dropping moments, and strong characters. These things matter a lot as well. In this video, we'll talk about the top 10 strongest characters in Demon Slayer, from the skilled swordsmanship of Tanjiro Kamado to the fearless spirit of Giyu Tomioka. Join us for an exciting journey through anime's most powerful warriors and get inspired by their strength and determination. Without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Number 10. Kyojiro Rengoku First on this list, we have the most adored character in the DS-verse, Kyojiro Rengoku. My man legit appeared on screen for mere 45 minutes and already made millions of people cry. Regarded as the Flame Hashira, Rengoku boasts remarkable strength and stamina. He possesses a strong sense of justice and to protect those who cannot protect themselves. He might not be the strongest Hashira in his base form, but it's still more than enough to handle small fries like Enmu. The fact that even Akaza recognized Rengoku's incredible strength strength makes him a force to be reckoned with. You can call Rengoku a jack of all trades, since all his attributes are evenly matched. I wish we could have seen more of Rengoku, but the author had different plans for him. Number 9. Giyu Tomioka Giyu Tomioka is the epitome of calmness, the guy who prefers fighting alone and finishing battles on his own, without wasting any breath. I'm sure all of you remember that Giyu was the first Hashira Tanjiro met, and is the one who led him to this path. If Tanjiro had met some other Hashira, things would have been way different. Giyu might seem like a timid and weak character from his appearance, but believe me, he's the exact opposite. Being the water Hashira, Giyu boasts fascinating feats including the creation of his own water breathing form, Dead Calm, that basically obliterated Rui in a second. Besides his overwhelming strength, Giyu also possesses exceptional willpower, which is quite evident in his battle against Muzan and Akaza. Despite all this, Giyu deems himself weak and is always in pursuit of improving himself because he considers himself the reason behind Sabito's death. Number 8. Sanami Shinazugawa Sanami is perhaps the most misunderstood character in Demon Slayer. People hate him because he attempted to kill Nezuko, which actually makes sense. However, that doesn't negate the fact that he's one of the strongest characters in the series. Being the Wind Hashira, Sanami is overwhelmingly strong and boasts incredible feats, including wiping the floor with a horde of demons in the Infinity Castle and holding his own against the likes of Kokushibo and Muzan. Some people deem Sanami to be on par with Giyu, but I personally rate him slightly higher owing to his feats. I mean, he got praised by Kokushibo for his combat versatility, unlike Rengoku and Giyu, who are jacks of all trades. Sanami actually excels in terms of agility. His movements are so fast that they're basically indistinguishable from teleportation. This actually makes sense, since he's literally the wind Hashira. Number 7. Akaza The demon who killed Rengoku. I'm pretty sure anime-only peeps refer to him by this name, but that's quite disrespectful. Regarded as the Upper Moon 12, Akaza is perhaps the most fearsome character on this list. He's the only character who solely depends on his martial arts and doesn't utilize any weapons. The thing that makes him truly fearless is the fact that he doesn't underestimate his opponents. He boasts his full potential right from the beginning and doesn't provide his opponents the opportunity to adapt. Besides his remarkable strength, his regenerative abilities are also exceptional given that he can regenerate his decapitated head. Despite possessing such overwhelming strength, Akaza relies a lot on strategies in deceiving his opponent. His blood demon art, destructive death, makes him even more fearsome and basically invincible. Number 6. Doma. You cannot give me a single reason not to hate this guy. I mean, his character was made to be hated and loathed for everything he does. However, all this doesn't change the fact that he's the Upper Moon 2 and one of the strongest characters in the series. Even though he's just one rank above Akaza, their powers are overwhelmingly different. Well, you can argue that Akaza's resolve to not devour women is the reason behind this difference. Doma's blood demon art, cryokinesis, grants him intricate control over ice and is the sole reason behind his strength. He can utilize his cryokinesis for both offense and defense, making it the perfect blood demon art. Doma's most incredible feat is the fact that he effortlessly crushed both Shinobu and Kane Kocho. It has always been stated that Akaza has challenged Doma multiple times to take over his spot, but has always lost. And have I mentioned that I absolutely hate him? I guess I already have. Number 5. Gyome. How can you not include this guy on the list? That would be blasphemy. Regarded as the strongest Hashira alive, Gyome is definitely a force to be reckoned with. His stone breathing is enough to overwhelm Kokushibo and force him to defend himself. He far surpasses all his comrades in terms of strength, agility, perseverance, and literally everything. 
I mean, even his own peers are scared of him. Unlike other Hashiras who utilize Nichiren blades, Yomei incorporates the traditional Kusarigama into his fighting style. Yomei's abilities and feats are already quite remarkable, but the fact that makes him even more fascinating is the fact that he's literally blind. He's just so incredible and definitely deserves this spot. Number 4. Kokushibo Kokushibo's battle against Gyomei, Sanami, and Muichiro would literally break the internet. Regarded as the Upper Moon 1, Kokushibo is only answerable to the Demon King Muzan, since no other demon stands a chance against him. Even Doma and Akaza combined wouldn't be enough to take him down. They literally tremble in his presence. His desire to surpass his brother Yorichi turned him into what he is today. Despite the combined efforts of the four strongest Hashira, they were unable to take down Kokushibo alone, and it was more of a suicide since he lost the will to live further. His regenerative abilities are second only to the Demon King, and far surpass that of Akaza. Boasting hundreds of years of experience and knowledge, Kokushibo is not someone you can take down without a proper strategy. I mean, even three marked Hashiras were not enough to take him down. You can imagine how overwhelmingly overpowered he is. Number 3. Tanjiro Kamado Some of y'all might be surprised by this addition, but hear me out. I'm not talking about the human Tanjiro all of us have witnessed in the anime, who likes to headbutt demons to take them down. I'm talking about the demon Tanjiro. At this point in the anime, Tanjiro is strong enough to take down any lower moon on his own. Mastering the art of sun breathing and concentration breathing, Tanjiro is definitely a formidable enemy. But when Muzan turned him into a demon, his stats were significantly boosted, to the point that he could have ended the entire Demon Slayer core if he wanted. However, Tanjiro Hero's unwavering resolve and his relentless pursuit of justice pushed him forward, and he didn't fall into evil's hands. Number 2. Muzan Kibutsuji The creature who started it all. The almighty demon king, Muzan Kibutsuji, being the primary demon, Muzan holds tremendous power and regenerative abilities. Everything I've mentioned about the previous demons, Muzan also possesses all that and is far superior. After consuming the blue spider lily, Muzan turned into a demon and became capable of turning humans into demons as well. Another important thing that distinguishes Muzan from others and makes him overwhelmingly overpowered is his ability to control and manipulate other demons. Everything that happens in Demon Slayer is basically owing to Muzan and his desire to be able to walk in the sun. The strongest characters in the series, the Hashiras and the 12 Kizuki, all fear him. The combined effort of all the remaining Hashira and their Demon Slayer marks were not enough to take him down, and they had to rely on sunlight to finish him off. Number 1. Yorichi Tsukiguni Regarded as the strongest demon slayer to ever exist, Yorichi Tsukiguni is the only person Muzan fears. Unlike the other demon slayers who acquire the mark later in life, Yorichi was inherently born with it. He's the individual credited with originating sun breathing, and intriguingly, all the breathing styles stem from its foundation. I've mentioned that Muzan fears Yorichi, but why exactly? Back in the day, Muzan encountered Yorichi once and got absolutely obliterated into tiny pieces and had to run away. From that point onward, Muzan remained hidden until Yorichi passed away, but the trauma he left behind still haunts Muzan. What makes Yorichi truly terrifying is his fighting style that is devoid of any negative emotion and bloodlust. This is the list, fellas. I have carefully evaluated the characters and made sure that the list is completely unbiased. Let me know in the comments which character is your favorite and if I missed any. In the meantime, you can check out this other cool video that appears on the screen. Go on, click it!